Hey guys, I've got an interesting one today uh, because I find lore very, very fascinating. And we're going to have a little bit of a look into a question of whether or not my human rights were violated. Now this actually applies to a large number of different situations in which moderators and mods for computer games can basically uh, attack people on, uh, under the ground uh, for or attacking their freedom and right to expression. So here we go. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a look at the game rules for Star Sonata here. So, um, you know, you've got to treat other members with at least a degree of civility. Um, yeah, that doesn't really happen in a large amount of times, but it doesn't matter. Um, mods are allowed to treat people how they want, um, pretty much according to the way that things work. Uh, but the one which is interesting um, is... Where are we? Where are we? Where, where are we? Um, it's controversial real world topics such as politics or religion are not allowed. Now this is very very important because this is this is something that we're um, going to be going into anyway. Um, so we went we go into the game general um, situation and um, we are going to. Uh, um, I was talking a little bit about um, IP. Uh, which is uh, intellectual property, uh, which is actually violated in several different places by the game, uh, such as in Strontium 90, because we have the Strontium Dogs uh, things. Anyway, uh, I was basically just trolling a little bit, you know, uh, as, as we have to. And um, basically, um, one of the mods, uh, the uh, Jack Zero, he basically mentioned that he mentioned no politics um, a little bit early on. So um, basically... Um, my good friend Adonis had mentioned that he spends money like the president, and no politics was mentioned. And uh, and this basically takes it off on a tangent to try and escape uh, from the evil moderator. Uh, so anyway, so anyway, I said I can't so, can't see anything in the disc or Star Sonata rules that prohibits talking about politics. Maybe I'm blind though. Now I've actually been through the politics at this point, but I just want to basically um, because I that basically um, I wanted to hit with this one. So, interestingly, talking about politics, how come there are COVID commands in the forward slash command? So we're going to have a little look at that now, right? COVID is actually a very, very interesting um, part, of part of politics at the moment. But we can forward slash country, COVID all, COVID country, um, country COVID state, COVID top. Um, so all of this sort of um, COVID stuff, that's, that's actually, pol that's actually pol political. Um, so if I if I spawn that and the bot will post something on the public channel which is uh, politics related, so the that's not keeping the channel to what we're actually discussing, which basically means that there's a function within the chat which means that we chat we we actually break the server rules by by actually typing it in because it will spawn information. Now that's very very interesting because we shouldn't have this in a public channel which is dedicated to um, to, to to this thing anyway. Um, so it says six. He, I get him to quote six. Discussion of controversial real world topics such as politics or religion are not allowed. Blah 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 blah. All that sort of stuff. For uh, hashtag chat rules, which mean. Um, and now I've I've actually asked the question. How come there are COVID commands in the slash the slash chat? And um, I I basically decided to poke the bear a little bit. Uh, so I said, well, everything that happens on Earth is in space. Ergo, that makes no sense because it mentions un under the umbrella of space crime. All right, and technically Earth is within space, so you know space crime would therefore probably apply to Earth. You know, one has to troll a little bit, but anyway, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so which set of laws are we following in regard to what's legal? I ask because I want to find out. And then I think, well, maybe I'll troll a little bit. So I said, um, if there was a force in space like Heavy G, who's a player, um, committing a space force a crime forcefully, could I refer to this crime as space force? And if he was hiding out there, biding his time under the name of Joe, could we use the code? Could we use the code to refer to him as Joe Biding? So, yeah, I am stirring the pot a little bit, uh, but I'm just trying to be a bit facetious. Anyway, I've kept it in regard in regards to the rules about the game, which is where game general fits. Heavy G is a player, um, and it is, well, it's not a legitimate question, it's me trolling, but it doesn't matter. I've kept things, uh, according to the Star Sonata rules, absolutely fine. Anyway, Retters, let's not try and stir the pot. Jayzo comes in, like, um, who really wants people to adopt his kittens, um, you know, and I'm asked to not be a, uh, not be a troll. Now, yeah, I can see where they're coming from, that's absolutely fine, so, um, uh, anyway, I, I ask why are there COVID actions for bot for bots in a game that game chat if there are no politics if no politics are allowed, 
And then it's, please take your trolling elsewhere. This isn't trolling. This is actually a legitimate question. And it's a question which actually relates to game general. Anyway, um, I should have had a question mark there, but I ask, why don't you answer the question? You put the rules in, why not explain them? We're discussing the rules of the game. I'm asking you why you have a bot program with this information on the server to respond to those known game-related, politics-related comments. He said, this isn't related to Game General. Please move on. It is related to Game General. It's actually related to the chat. Anyway, I did post a response to this uh, before this final response, of which there's there's absolutely nothing that's been posted by anyone since. I posted a response to that, and that was removed by a moderator. And I got this message from the Dino, uh, Dino bot saying, you were warned in Star Sonata 4. Please follow the directions of what a moderator asks. Okay, so that's censorship. That is censorship, right? So we're going to go a little bit here. So Article 10 of the Human Rights Act, Freedom of Expression. Everyone has the right to freedom of expression. This right shall include the freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impart information and ideas within an interface by, by public authority and regardless of frontiers. Without interference, sorry. Uh, by public authority and regardless of frontiers. So what's happening here is I'm actually following the chat rules at this point um despite the fact that the fact that the um the real world politics thing i was kind of t i was kind of trolling there uh but at this point when i was asking that gen that question before i was restricted and before i got warned and threatened by the bot um i i was i had the re right to freedom of expression and actually ask about what was going on and if we if we go to the star sonata rules the chat rules I'm following. I'm following these. I'm following these things here. I, I am being relatively civil. I'm, I'm not keeping it. Um, I'm not keeping it. You know, I'm not keeping it political. It's like I, I'm like okay, whatever. You know, um, and it's not really po political what I was saying, really. Uh, but anyway, I'm asking why they've got politics within the game chat, and they are restricting my right to actually talk and express myself. And it says it's re regard without interference by public authority and regardless of frontiers which means that there are no frontiers out here this is an online game they have to respect my my human rights um anyway we go into a little bit about what uh, i was going doing a bit of research in terms of public authority as defined by law um so yeah they're a public body the moderation team of a computer game are a public body they are a public authority this, these are public channels i'm actually following the server rules so actually by stifling my ability to talk and ask a question as to why there is a political thing here in these chat in this chat channel that is apparently a breach of my human rights which is quite an interesting thing. And I can technically, under certain circumstances, sue for this. So this is something which I think that these guys um, need to actually um, need to actually realise. I mean, the easiest thing to do is to click on click on this guy, click like that. And what we do is we go to block <laughs> Fred request. We can, uh, click to add note. Pain in the neck. Uh, and we, um, we, we, we just go to block. And this is... Whilst we're not really supposed to block moderators and everything, I think that that is the best way to handle um, people who are on these channels. Because the thing is, it's clear to me at this point that he's not he's not capable of um, handling a normal conversation or actually responding to questions which are political. And the, these COVID questions are um, these these are um, you know I mean if I'm if I'm going to click for example on COVID all like that. This is a bot command which is automatically put in the chat, and what is, what happens is the bot will go and it will get it will collect information in order to actually respond to it. Why do we have a COVID command in the um, which is stored within the um, within the game chat? What has what has COVID got to do with Star Sonata? All right, I mean. If there's like off-topic channels and things like that, yeah, that's uh, that's absolutely great. But um, the very fact that we can utilize the 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 mod bot to bring up any form of information whatsoever, um, you know, um, I'm not going to go for country, but the very fact that we've got this, um, that that's uh, that's actually a really really uh, annoying thing because this this is politics. If if I actually post anything from this, I'm probably gonna. I uh, can't really cancel that. That's actually slightly worrying. Slightly worrying. 
But anyway, um, uh, I think the mod bots crashed, thank God for that. But the fact of the matter is, under the circumstances which we've actually got this experience, um, and that is part of part of the the gaming experience, or rather part of the Discord experience, they shouldn't be silencing me. They should be responding to the question because this is related to game, and it's actually related to game general because this is forcing politics within a public forum. Um, but if I do actually post the um, mod thing there. I will be in violation of um, the game's terms and conditions, and that that will that will that's actually um, will give people the right to. Um, oh, I can't actually cancel it. So um, yeah, I can't actually cancel that. So um, anyway, yeah. So I can't even run a demonst I can't even run a demonstration on uh, anything. So yeah. Anyway, in terms of removing my comments and. Um, which were not in violation of the game's terms and conditions or rules that that is a violation of my human rights and i could technically take legal action on that so that's today's starter drama i hope you've been uh very much entertained um this is furious he's a cool dude look how cool he is he's not like jekt at all jekt isn't even a real person jazo what's he he's a chewbacca in a bishop's hat and me i'm pixel art Anyway, um, I, I hope you have a fantastic day, and uh, thanks for joining me for this episode of Star Sonata Drama, in which Jack Zero violated my human rights. Aren't you lucky, Jack, that I'm not that kind of vicious that I basically contact them and ask for your address so that I can sue you? Oh, I love this world. Anyway, that's been a bit of fun for me today. Might as well make a bit of fun. Have a bit of fun with all of this stuff. It's totally related to Game General. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking really important questions. Anyway, have a fantastic day. And uh, as you can see, this game is quite a lot of fun to me. Um, anyway, bye-bye.